Hello, how are you today? My name is Zach and welcome to Green Energy Kenya. Today we are going to answer the question that people normally ask when they want to install solar. How many solar panels do I need to power my home? Making a switch to solar energy can help you lower or even eliminate your monthly electric bills while reducing your carbon footprint. However, before installing a clean energy system in your home, you must first answer this important question. How many panels do I need? To accurately calculate the ideal number of solar panels for your home, you will need a professional assessment, what we call the site survey. However, you can estimate the size and the cost of the system based on your electricity bills, energy needs, and available roof space, which we are going to discuss. Mm -hmm. Now, we have factors that determine or that influence how many panels you need. To determine how many panels that you need to power your house, the following factors need to be considered. One is the size of your home and available roof space. Larger homes tend to consume more electricity and they generally need more solar panels. However, they also have the extra roof space necessary for larger solar panel installations. There may be exceptions to this rule. For example, a 2,000 square foot home with the new energy star appliances may consume less power than a 1,200 square foot home with older and less efficient devices. When it comes to installation, solar panels can be placed in many types of services. However, your roof conditions may limit the number of solar panels your home can handle. For example, if you have a chimney, a rooftop air conditioning unit or a skylight, you will have to place panels around these fixtures. Similarly, roof areas that are covered by shadows are not suitable for panels. Two is the amount of direct sunlight in your area. Where there is more sunlight available, there is more energy that can be converted into electricity. Three, the number of residents and the amount of energy you use. Households with more members normally use a higher amount of electricity and this also means you need more solar panels to increase the energy production. If your home uses like 12,000 kilowatt hour per year and you go 100% solar, your system must be capable of generating that amount of power. Four, and the last point I will consider is the type of solar panel and the efficiency rating. High efficiency panels can deliver more watts per square foot, which means you need to purchase fewer of them to reach your electricity generation target. We in the market we have three main types of solar panels that is the monocrystalline, polycrystalline, and the thin film solar panel. In general, mono panels are the most efficient are the most efficient solar panels followed closely by poly and uh, the thin film panels are the least efficient so based on these factors we can ask ourselves now how many solar panels can power my home to roughly determine how many solar panels you need Without professional assessment, you will need to figure out two basic things, how much energy you use and how much energy your panels will produce. To more closely estimate how much energy you use annually, 
you add up the kilowatt hour reported in your last 12 power bills. These numbers will fluctuate based on factors like the size of your home, the number of residents, your electricity consumption habits, and the energy efficiency rating of your home devices. After you determine how many kilowatt hour of electricity your home uses annually, you want to figure out how many kilowatt hour are produced by each of your solar panels during a year. This will depend on the specific type of solar panel, the roof conditions and the local peak sunlight hours. In the solar industry, the common metric used to estimate the system capacity is the specific yield or what we call specific production. This can be defined as the annual kilowatt hour of energy produced for each kilowatt of solar capacity installed. The specific yield has much to do with the amount of sunlight available in your location. You can get a, pet, a better idea of the specific yield that can be achieved in your location by checking reliable sources like the World Bank Solar Maps or the Solar Radiation Database from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. To estimate how many kilowatts are needed to run your house, you can divide your annual kilowatt hour consumption by the, by the specific yield per kilowatt of solar capacity. For example, if your home needs 15,000 kilowatt hour of your energy per year and the solar panels have a specific yield of 1,500 kilowatts per kilowatt in your location, you will need a system size of about 10 kilowatts. Once you know the system size, you need uh, to check your panel wattage to figure out how many panels to purchase for your solar array. Multiply your system by 1000 to obtain watts, then you divide this by the individual wattage of each of your solar panel. So if you need a 10 kilowatt solar installation and you are buying panels that have an output of like 340 watts, you will need 30 panels. Your formula will look like 10,000 watts divided by 340, you will get about 29.4 panels. If you use lower efficiency 250 watt panels, you will need 40 of them. That is 10,000 divided by 250, giving you 40 panels. Keep in mind that although the cost of solar panels is lower if you choose a lower efficiency model over a pricier, higher efficiency one, the total amount you pay for your solar system may come out to be the same or higher because you will have to buy more panels. And that, with that, our answer on how many panels you need to power house is answered. Thank you and keep subscribing and sharing this information and our link.